Freddy and Jason already had a street fight. They already had trip to oblivion, and they've already been in the hell cell. So I propose a Papa from Hell match, and the only way to win is to climb to the very top of the boat and grab the no DQ CAW title. The winner not only becoming the champion, but taking the championship to his respective show. It will be the end of an era. Welcome everybody to End of an Era, the final mega event with the combined No DQ CAW roster. My name is Wade Nim as always, and I'm joined by Bobby Spade and Bruce Lee. It's, it's an honor, honor once again to be here doing commentary. Hey, thanks for interrupting me, Mr. Bruce Lee. Wade said my name first, not yours, okay? You talk about respect and honor and all that crap, but you just disrespected me. My apologies, Mr. Spade. Well, I don't care how it is in Japan where you guys say your first name last and your, and your last name first. This is America! And Wade said my name first, which means I get to talk first. Bobby, Bruce, apologize to you already, damn it. So knock it off! Why the hell is Bruce Lee here anyway? Come on, can, can anybody answer that for me? Why the hell is this chink here? Shouldn't he be breaking blocks of wood with his head somewhere or something? Oh, it wasn't my decision. Aaron Rip decided to have Bruce Lee here as a mediator between uh, you and I. Uh, to, to make sure that there's not going to be any problems. And there weren't going to be any problems. I came here to do commentary too, Wade. Just like the old days. I, I have a job to do, and that's exactly why I'm here. But this slanted eye freak he, he, he's, he's distracting me from doing my job. Let's just try and make the best of the situation, okay? We've wasted enough time already. This is going to be an exciting night featuring a huge double main event. Wait a minute, a double main event? And Freddy vs. Jason is the main event. And nobody gives a rat's ass about Sting. The guy's washed up. You're the only person that, that cares about him, probably. Bobby, shut the hell up already. Answer me, damn it. Also, it's pretty insulting to say that there were two main events on a three-match show. I guess the street fight doesn't mean anything, huh? Okay, first of all, I don't know what planet you're living on, but Sting is and will always be a major draw. He has a huge fan base. Well, I don't know what planet I'm on either. I thought I was on Earth. But I see mutilated freaks like you and Bruce Lee. I mean, come on. He's got slanted eyes. Jesus Christ. You know what? Forget it, Bobby. You want to speak to me? Then start talking uh, out of your mouth and not out of your ass. Mr. Clean oh, how did I know that Mr. Clean would be on the team of No DQ Eastern? You sure are predictable there, Bobby. Hey, shut up while the jinkles play him. We're getting set for the No DQ Pacific versus No DQ Eastern Street Fight. Yeah, like him or not, Mr. Clean is the dirtiest player in the game and the best choice for the job. Let me just say something, Bobby. Do not get defended. Wait, has a point. Mr. Clean may be best choice, but not smartest choice. Many times, most effective attack is surprise attack. Some of the greatest generals in world history use surprise attack to win a war. It doesn't surprise me. And you go off on another stupid ring. Very well, Bobby. I tried to give you advice. I've been around the world. I've learned many things. I've gained valuable knowledge and wisdom over the years. If you do not take my advice, it is your loss. How'd you like to make 50 bucks the easy way? Why don't you shut up for the rest of the show and the money's yours, man? Batman! Mr. Clean's partner is Batman! Bobby, what are you thinking? I'm thinking like a madman. I'm thinking like a smart man. Mr. Clean and Batman hate each other. What are you smoking, bro? Hey, now, you guys told me to be unpredictable. There you go. Oh, you're out of your mind. Hey, trust me. Mr. Clean and Batman will win this match. Batman is due for a good performance. Hey, a good performance when it comes to kicking Mr. Clean's ass, maybe. All right, Wade. I thought we were going to stop acting childish. I'm just telling like I'm seeing it, I I think you made a huge mistake here, dude. Hey, don't worry about me. Worry about your own guys, okay? Worry about how you'll have to pay for the medical bill when this match is over. Alright, 
right, this is a street fight. Texas tornado rules. That means falls count anywhere in the building. We have Mr. Clean, Batman, Spider-Man, and Link as participants in this match. Oh no, not Link Sausage. Ain't no DQ East does not stand the chance. I'm getting tired of this, Bobby. Nothing but constant trash talking on your part. Calm down, Wade. Keep your cool. I'm trying, Bruce, but Bobby's really pushing you to the edge. Wow, Spider-Man. Hey, that's the best no DQ Pacific dance to offer, hey? Bobby, shut up. Jesus Christ, dude, you need to take a chill pill. I'm just messing with you. Come on, buddy, cheer up. Yeah, I'd like to believe it, Bobby. I'd like to believe you. Hey, just watch. I'll behave myself from this point forward. Watch. I gotta say this, despite everything going on, there is a lot of respect between Spider-Man and Link. These two guys have so much respect for each other. And, and you know what? I gotta commend them on that. I gotta give them props. Spider-Man and Link have a lot of respect for each other. Cool thing. Link Sausage and Spider-Man, they got respect for each other. And who gives a shit? Spider-Man with the go Oh, Spider-Man with that takedown. Oh, come on, Mr. Clean. On Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean with Spider-Man sets him up. Vertical suplex. On the outside, we see Batman with a stunt puller on Link. Oh, Link countered out of it. Mr. Clean, what's he going to do with Link on the outside? Oh, there it is. That's called the clean cut. <laughs> yes, there you go. It's the clean cut, baby. Spider-Man whipped on top of the table. Mr. Clean. And Batman up there with Spider-Man on the table. Holy crap. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, oh, run. A double back body drop. Oh, man. My apologies, a double back suplex. Yeah, the, the double back suplex. Get it right. Through the table. Jeez. The ZDT by Link! <laughs> Link with the no. ZDT! Batman covers Spider-Man, referee out of position on that. Oh, referee taken out by Mr. Clean though. Mr. Clean with the go-behind. In this type of match, you must not only focus on your opponent, but you must be aware of where your partner is. Matches like this require more concentration than singles match or where they had too much. And come back. Weapons are always an advantage, if you know how to use them. Oh, I know how to use weapons. I just hit a guy over the head with them. Duh. Oh, buddy. Perhaps one day, you won't be so ignorant. Oh, wait a minute. I think Batman just accidentally busted his own partner, Mr. Clean, wide open. Oh, what the hell is that all about, man? Come on. Why'd you do that, Batman? What the do? A Batman saved Mr. Clean from getting double teamed on that one. Batman and Mr. Clean will stay focused here. Accidents can happen. They can always work together. Or get their issues later. Right now they must concentrate on winning the match. I still don't get why Bruce Lee's here. The guy can barely speak English, you know? And he's doing commentary with a major show like this? Bobby, why are you still doing this? Bruce hasn't done anything to you. He interrupted me. That's disrespectful. That was at the start of the show. He apologized. Get over it. And no offense, but that commentary with you guys at Benford Gold 2 was the worst I ever heard. Actually, Bobby, you're wrong. It was the best because we, we actually talked about wrestling. We didn't sit, sit and argue back and forth. Yeah, we'll go ahead and talk about wrestling, but I still can't understand the damn thing that Bruce Lee's saying. All four men fighting on the outside. Texas Tornado rules. False count anywhere in the building. He covers Mr. Clean. Referee gets to the outside. Oh, not even... He, he was way out of position. Referee should always be on the outside when the wrestlers are out there in these kind of matches. The referee has an important job. We must not criticize the referee until you've been in the shoes. Especially in this match. The referee has to pay attention to everything that's going on. If he gets too close, he can't get a clear perspective on everything. That it's happening. And you know what, Bruce Lee? It's a good thing that you got drafted the Wade Show. Because let me tell you, you would not last 30 seconds in, in, in no DQ uh, Eastern. 30 seconds? At least not last longer than you in bedroom. But he got you there, Bobby. What are you talking about? He didn't do anything. Oh, what a lame ass joke, Wade. Well, what is this, 6th grade? 
talk, so I guess uh, your stupid one-liners are okay then. Hey, at least my jokes are creative. I guess they don't teach comedy in Japan, huh, Bruce? Actually, he is Chinese, not Japanese. Actually, I am American. I was born in San Francisco. Oh, well that explains why you've been rubbing up against my thigh all night, eh, Tarbush? What are you talking about? Well, don't try to cover it up now. Knock it off. Hey, I will swing that way, Bobby. Hey, fine. I'll stop doing that, Bruce. Stop what? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Let's get back to the damn match. All right. All that matters is that Mr. Clean's going to win this match. I don't, you know, Batman, eh, he's in there. Yeah, it's Mr. Clean's. Hey, did you hear about the new, uh, the, the new uh, Chinese astronaut? I definitely felt a nip in the air. Come on, Mr. Clean. Whoop them all, man. Spider-Man, he had that chair, but Mr. Clean pulled it into a vertical suplex as he came charging in at it. He used Spider-Man's momentum against him in that one. But in any event, the match is still going on here. But no shit, Sherlock! Oh, Link falls off the stage. <laughs> hey, hey, it's a very good call there, fat ass. Bobby, I'm getting sick and tired of this bull crap. We're supposed to be calling the match here. See, look, Batman just got pinned. You admit you got me distracted, damn it. If Batman was just pinned. Oh, yeah, I'm distracting you. Batman, you, you, you stupid bum. I had faith in you, Batman, but you still let me down. Jeez, come on. What's going on here? That replay here. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, wrestling fans. I'm sorry, CW fans. Bobby Speed. Bobby, just shut the fuck up, all right? Oh, you said fuck. Let's see, we got the replay going on. I'm... I, I I can't think right now. I can't believe it. Plus, Batman bust open Mr. Clean. He loses the match. Wait a minute. Mr. Clean is attacking Batman. He is attacking Batman. What the hell is going on? There you go, Mr. Clean. Teach him a lesson. There's the Clean sweep. All right. Yes. On the stage there. Come on. Come on, Mr. Clean. Come on. Finish him off. What is Mr. Clean going to do? Finish him. Where's he going? Finish him, Mr. Clean! Finish him! Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Mr. Clean's got a ladder. Oh my god. Come on, Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean! Mr. Clean has that ladder. He's so climbing the ladder. Batman's climbing the other side oh, of the ladder hey, here. Come on, come on. Mr. Clean, What's, Mr. Clean! Wait a minute. Yes. Mr. Clean with Batman! Oh my god, the vertical suplex yes. went off the ladder! He just hit a vertical suplex off the ladder! Batman, I give you the benefit of the doubt, but you proved to me that you were, that you were and will always be nothing but a bum. Oh, I'm still in shock over what we've just seen. But in any case, coming up next, the rematch. Sting versus Michael Myers inside a steel cage. It all started when I gave Sting an invitation to appear at Bound for Glory 2. Sting was gracious enough to accept my invitation. But to my surprise and everyone else's, Michael Myers had an exact clone that got involved in the match and cost Sting the victory. The match was no DQ rules, so there was nothing I could do about it. Except put this huge rematch together. And tonight, Sting has a chance to get revenge. Here he comes! Sting is making his way to the ODQ no Stadium! Hey, Sting's washed up. He doesn't stand a chance. So, chip. Bruce, what's your opinion of this match? I agree with you that Sting is a class act. The same can't be said about Michael Myers. So, Bruce, who do you think is going to win this match? 
Hey, go ahead and ignore me, Wade. You keep asking Bruce Lee questions. You act like I don't exist. This is our last night together, Wade. Instead, we'd rather talk to this schmuck. I talk to you, but uh, all you've done tonight is make an ass out of yourself. Me? I've made an ass out of myself. You two clowns are the ones that acted unprofessional. That's your problem, Wade. That's your problem. You don't consider yourself a professional. Maybe if you started acting professional and stopped being a fucking mark, you'd accomplish something for once. All you've done tonight is kiss Bruce Lee's ass like a goddamn mark. Five months, Wade. Five months we worked together, and you shoved me in the gutter! Or right, you know what, Bobby? I'm sick of this. All my life, I've done nice things for people. And I get treated like shit in return. I don't wish bad things to happen to people. But in your case, I'll make an exception. You've done nothing but screw over people and manipulate them, including myself. A lot of people want to see you in the grave. And you know what? I'm at the top of that list. Oh, is that right? And you know what? Fuck you, Wade! Fuck you! Bruce, I can't do this. The show's ruined. Don't go, Wade. You can't let them go to you. Bro, let me go. Bobby's made this miserable for me. I can't enjoy this match. I need to get out of here. Nonsense, Wade. You leave, I lose respect for you. You are a man of honor and dignity. Unlike Bobby Spade, you can overcome this. You're right, Bruce. I can't let Bobby get me this upset. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm in the wrong here. I, I don't know. I, I've just been under a lot of pressure with this roster split. If, if Bobby comes back... If, if Bobby comes back... I'll apologize to him. I respect that way. This is an honorable thing to do. Be the better man and initiate the apology. That's exactly what I'll do. For now, let's try to call this match. Uncle Myers keeps trying to escape the cage. Which, in my opinion, eliminates the purpose of the match. That's the only thing I dislike about cage matches. Combat is about seeing who the better competitor is, not trying to escape from your opponent. But as far as I'm concerned, if you're all going to run, you have no business being a competitor. I see what you mean. Uh, you can tell Stig wants to settle the, an issue here. Michael Myers, he, he doesn't want any part of Sting. Wait a minute. Bobby's back. He's coming back over here to the broadcast booth. Oh, Bobby, I... I, I want to apologize if I offended you. Let's try... Let's, let's try... Let's just, let's just try to bury the hatchet for the sake of the show. Bobby? Bobby? Bobby's not talking to us. Uh... Look, Bobby, I apologize, alright, dude? I said some things that I shouldn't have. Let's just... Let's just try and make this work. Okay, Bobby? Look at it, man. Bobby is not professional. He claims to be. It's, uh... Let's just stop living in the past and move on with the future, I guess. Enziguri. Kick. Uh, Sting missed with the Bulldog. Michael Myers with the sleeper. Oh, and he turned it into... A transmission suplex. And Michael Myers is climbing the cage. Sting climbing after him. Oh, and he, he, he just he took him off the, the cage wall. Sting dropped those two elbows. Myers now with a go behind. Sting countered out of whatever Myers wanted. And a vertical suplex there by Sting. Sting's calling for it. Sting picks up Myers. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, and a Stinger splash! Sting with the Stinger splash. And a Scorpion death drop by Sting. Wait a minute, there's another Michael Myers in the ring. 
Michael Myers pulling the two for two again. This makes me sick. Michael Myers does not deserve to be in this business. He has no honor. Two Michael Myers. Yeah, atomic drop. Oh my god. It was a uh, side Russian leg sweep, double team move into a heart attack. And now, oh my god. Both Myers launched Sting off the top rope. Sting picked back up, whipped into the corner. Both Michael Myers now going for a. Oh my god. There's a doomsday device. Wait, what the hell? Now there's two Stings in the ring. There's two Stings and two Michael Myers. One Sting is. A single leg crab locked into one of the Michael Myers. And that one right there is busted open. I do not know what to make of this. Like great jelly just smearing across the face. A lot of things happening here at end of an era. Both stings are down. Both Michael Myers climbing the cage. Wait a minute. And now they're they're climbing the four sides of this cage. The two Michael Myers and the two stings. Who's going to get it? Sting! Oh my god! Sting has just won this match! I would like to congratulate Sting. However, it is unfortunate that this match couldn't have ended in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Sting deserves better treatment, and it shows Myers' lack of respect for Sting. There's no doubt that Michael Myers uh, doesn't respect Sting. But, you know, Myers... He may have earned some respect for Sting here tonight. Because Sting uh, was one step ahead of Myers in this match, and Sting has gotten his revenge. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just... I, 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 I'm out of my mindset. It's time for our main event, Harbor from Hell. Let's head out to the location where the match is now starting. Here we go, Jason Voorhees of No DQ Pacific defending the CAW title against Freddy Krueger of No DQ Eastern. The winner will not only become the champion, but he will take the title to his respective league. I'll talk now. I didn't care about the last match. As far as I'm concerned, Sting is washed up. Hey, wait. As they say in Vegas, you beat the odds. You had the no DQ seat every title in the palm of your hands, but you decided to risk it all for the sake of pleasing a, a, a has-been like Sting. That, my friend, makes you the dumbest man alive. If I may cut in here, Bobby, you may be right. Perhaps Sting is a has-been. But look at what he has been. Where have you been, Bobby? I think it is time you stop putting down others and start doing things to make yourself a better person. Oh, I'll put down Sting all I want because number one, he's washed up. And number two, if you noticed, he didn't even win that last match. The real Sting had blood on his face. The big disgrace. The fake Sting was the one who climbed the cage and was awarded the victory. Oh, you're lying, Bobby. I don't believe you. And go back and look at the tape spot guy. Yo, hero is nothing but a cheater. Oh well, hey, what's done is done. Michael Myers can't get his rematch. You'll just have to live with the fact that Myers got screwed over. I think he's right, Wade. The second sting was awarded the victory. Even if it's true, Michael Myers brought it on himself. You know, there's an old saying, one good turn deserves another. Yeah, and if you turn around right now, I'll be glad to kick you square in the ass. Go ahead, Bobby. Insult me all you want. I'm gonna call the match and show my professionalism. You do what you have to do. Oh, I thought you said you weren't a professional. Oh, I'm not. But at least I try and behave like one. You gotta know if one of these guys gets dumped into the ocean, the other one has the... the 
basically just got the match won if one of these guys goes into the ocean. Throw him into the ocean! Because how the hell are they going to get back up there in the harbor? Throw Jason into the ocean, Freddy! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this the Crystal Lake Slam? Freddy! Oh, wait a minute, Freddy! Freddy, hold on! You better hold on, Freddy! Make me mad if you don't! If you lose this match! This match means so much more than what, what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks this is just another Freddy vs. Jason match, but... Hey, this one's... Oh, look, they're playing catch. They're playing catch with a with an oil drum. Jason now with the oil drum. Wait a minute, Freddy snatches it from him. This match has been back and forth thus far. At this point, neither competitor has attempted to try and get the belt. I think this is fighting spirit I like to see. This is what competition is all about. These guys have nothing to do to prove themselves. They are superior to their rival. Come on, Freddy! Get the title! Bring it over to Easton! Bring it over to no DQ Easton! Oh, a DDT right through that that that, that wooden plank. All kinds of weapons in this match. Oh, you see the dent as flesh met steel. Just dented the crap out of that. Come on, Freddy! Come on, Freddy! Kick is blocked. And another block, both these guys exchanging. Irish, oh! Jason just whipped Freddy right into that, that wooden slab. Come on, Freddy! Don't let him do that to you! Freddy knows what he's doing! He's going for a tombstone, setting him up. Oh, onto the steel! Onto the steel! That's gonna leave a mark! Everybody out there, Freddy knows what he's doing! There's no need to worry! Keep your composure! Oh, what a dominator. That jaw bridge there. That, oh, the carnage. Both of these guys have endured so far, and we're only about five minutes into the match. This match is, is, is made up for the whole night. There's a widow's peak. I don't think the normal human body can withstand what these guys have already gone through in, in the first five minutes here. Wait a minute, Jason with that shovel now. Switcheroo again. This is what no DQ is all about, seeing the switcheroos. As this match wears on, I'm, I'm getting a little nervous here. Anything can happen in this match. Freddy whipped right into that barrier. Oh, and again, oh, the barrier moved out of the way. Freddy just fell. That's got to be a good 20, 30 feet. I hate to say this, but Jason just, he just made a huge mistake here. Why did he climb down when he could have gone for the belt? Like I said before, Jason wants to set up this feud with Freddy once and for all. Yes, he had a chance to get the belt, but for him, this match means more than that. This is making me nervous. On one hand, I understand these two guys have pride, but damn it, a, a lot is on the line in this match. We're talking about the No DQ CW title here. This match isn't just Freddy versus Jason. It's No DQ Pacific versus No DQ Eastern. Only one league can claim the championship. I see what you mean, but let me tell you, the better man will win this match. You will have greater satisfaction knowing that Jason won a hard fought battle. I like to have some stratisfaction right about now. Very good buddy. You actually told joke without insulting somebody. I am much impressed. Freddy with a go behind. Setting him up for the ride, picks him up. Oh my god! Jesus! He's Christ. just just falling! Falling through that platform! This is just a jelly jacker! Unbelievable! Both men are dead! Both men have gotta be dead! Well, we're talking about Freddy and Jason here. You can't kill these guys, they can't die. This has just been a straight up jelly jacker. Come on, Freddy, beat that gummy bear of Jason. Jason ain't nothing but a gummy bear. 
He's going to make him bleed and he's going to win the match. This is a Harbor from Hell match for the no DQ CW title. Come on, Freddy. What, what, what does Freddy have? Oh, Larry had he just broke it across Jason. And now he's got a, he had a pole. It looked like he cracked that over him, too. This is for the world title. This is for the, all the marbles. Fire extinguisher. This is the main event. Wish Freddy would have... I bet you Freddy was wishing he had a fire extinguisher about 20 years ago. Oh my god, DDT through the cinder block. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. Let's get that. Oh. Where are these objects coming from? It's like a bunch of circus clowns coming out of a little Volkswagen. Oh, that wooden plate just oh, cracked over his head. Another fire extinguisher. And there's another pole. That metal pipe. Just being driven. Oh, end of, end of the flesh of Jason. Oh, Jason now choking, choking Freddy with that pole. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be off the chain. Because Jason is going to get owned. Oh, nice vertical suplex. Jason has taken a tremendous amount of punishment this fall. It may have come down to how much endurance Jason has. How much punishment will he be able to take? I think that might be it for Jason. After all that's happened to him so far in this match. I think that's it for Jason. Alright, when I say that, he gets right back up. Afraid with the cinder block. Jason takes the cinder block. Oh, and he just cracked it over Freddy's head. And a back body drop by Jason. Both these guys have a huge history to it, with each other. And a cradle pile driver by Jason. Jason better be careful. It looks like Freddy might be luring him into something. I will say this about Freddy. He has dictated the pace of this match. Wherever he goes, Jason goes. Freddy has used this tactic to his advantage. It's the first intelligent thing you said all night, you freaking gook. We got a few minutes left here. This is this is for the all the marbles, the main event. And 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 Jason's gonna lose. Freddy's gonna win, guys. Freddy is going to win. And a back body drop there by Jason. Close line. Oh, whipped into the. Whip. I thought that barrier was taken out of this situation. Oh well, <laughs> it is now. Stomping away. Oh, wow. Back body drop. Looked like he twisted midair, too. Freddy's a stuntman. He's a glorified stuntman. The clock is counting down. We have about four and a half minutes left in this match. Hey, Freddy. Freddy, what you need to do is knock him down and take your gloves back. Freddy's been busted open. Come on, Freddy. Come about on, Freddy. time. You can Freddy has been busted open. I gotta be unbiased, but I gotta cheer for, for Jason. Come on, bring the title home to, to, to Pacific, baby. Bring it back. Yeah, Freddy better bring it to Easton. When a man sees his own blood, that's when he becomes a wild man. That's when he becomes not just a performer, but that's when he becomes a combatant. It's gonna be a hot night in hell, and you're gonna fry like a chicken, Jason. You're gonna fry like a chicken. Original recipe. Both Freddy and Jason climb, climb that pole. They're up there on the. Wait a minute. Jason hanging off for dear life. And why isn't Freddy doing anything here, huh? Come on, knock him off. Grab the belt. Do something. Freddy might be losing concentration, but if you have ever made a decision in short time amount, you will know how Freddy feels right now. I think he was waiting for Jason to get up so he could deliver a fatal blow. Freddy was trying to go for something, but Jason kept countering out of it. 
Turn into a spine buster by Jason. Jason's hulking up, calling for the end. Jason's got Freddy! Jason has got Freddy! He picks him up! This is it! Oh my god, that's it! That's the Crystal Lake Slam! Jason has got this match in the books! No, 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 no! He's got it in the books! Jason is gonna get it! And another Crystal Lake Slam! Jeez! Oh, come on. No, no. Come on, Freddy. Jason, with Freddy! He's got him up a third time! And another Crystal Lake Slam! That's number three! Oh, come on! He's going for a fourth! Oh my god, he's going for a fourth! And he connected with it! That Crystal Lake Slam! Come on, Freddy! Get up! You can't lose this way! You can't lose at all! You can't lose, period! And yet another one! Another Crystal Lake Slam! Ladies and gentlemen, uh... Oh my god! Jason is going for another one! And I think my voice is about to go out! I think my voice is about to go out! Hey, this show just got a lot better. <laughs> all the action in this match! All the action on this show! End of an era! We're gonna see an end of an era. Hit. And now that submission Hit move! Locked in now by Jason! I think Jason has proven dominance here. All he needs to do is get the belt. He's gonna set him up for yet another Crystal Lake Slam! But this time, oh my god, Freddy sent right through that opening! All the way down to the... to the bottom of the ship! Oh, the bottom of the harbor! Jason is climbing the pole! Uh, we are gonna get a champion here! He is successfully... Wait a minute! What the hell? Jason was just hit by a lightning bolt! What'd you do, Bobby? I... I had nothing to do with this! I'm just as shocked as you are! How can I fucking control the weather? That question of yours is too unbelievable! It's... it's... It's, it's too coincidental! Damn it! No bad weather, I guess! I'm afraid he might have done this. It's hard to believe you, Bobby. Wade is right. Something is up here. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, so now I'm the fucking god of the weathers and storms? Where am I, Storm from the X-Men? Get real, guys. Honestly, I don't give a damn as long as Freddy wins. Come on, Freddy, get up. You don't have much time left. You got... If Freddy wins, I'll never do any wrong again. If Freddy wins this, I... If Freddy wins, I, I promise I'll never do anything wrong again. I'm gonna... I'll stop... I'll stop gambling. I'll be loyal to my family. Just let Freddy win, please. I'll even stop gambling. Jeez, time is running out. Come on, Freddy. You can... You can do it. You can do it, Freddy. You can do it. This is it. This is it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it, Freddy! Get the belt! Yes! 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 Got Freddy it. has done it! Freddy! Your new! New DQC to be champion, baby! Freddy is the champion! That's it! Don't forget about no DQ Eastern! We got the world title now! The one and the only no DQ CAW champion is Freddy Krueger, and he will be on the very first show for Eastern on September 17th. Plus, Mr. Clean vs. Batman is signed, and that's the bottom line because I'm Bobby Spade, damn it. I am Bobby Spade. Freddy Krueger, Bobby Spade, Mr. Clean vs. Batman. And much more starting on Friday, September 17th. I know DQ Eastern. I wish you guys could see Wade Needham right now. He's crying. Wade Needham is crying. What a poor baby. Hey, hey Wade. I got three words for you. Boo. Fucking. Boo.